Hey everyone, what you're looking at is uh, a couple of wheels uh, with magnets attached and I'm using those to try and demonstrate the anti-gearing effect of the uh, Allen OC's whip mag device that's uh, been on the net uh, lately. Fundamentally, uh, two devices here. This one in particular is just a mock-up of the uh, John Bedini uh, battery charger unit that I've been playing with for a couple of years. Seems to work quite well as it uh, was designed to. This other one is nothing other than what you're looking at here. Piece of pine with a uh, plastic wheel attached. Some uh, NIB um, magnets, uh, just friction set into the wheel um, and free to rotate on its own, not driven at all. This one will be the driven uh, wheel. What uh, I can show you here now is that the magnets are set up in opposition, in other words, north to north or south to south, as the case may be, in that uh, they repel one another. As you can see, the effect, I hope, is fairly self-evident, uh, and that they do repel one another. And what I will be doing, in effect, uh, to demonstrate is, as the one wheel is turning in this direction, this wheel will be turning in opposition um, to work against it, uh, you would think, and see if I can sustain this one. I've uh, demonstrated it a couple of times to myself quite successfully and actually had the wheels, uh, the freewheel turning for about seven hours uh, a couple of days ago. Now, um, this uh, device will get in operation and uh, let's see if we can get it to, uh, to run on its own and it seems to be doing so quite nicely. Now, um, this part of it, I put a little mark on the table here just to indicate the optimum position to start uh, this other wheel rotating and I'll see if I can get it to sink in and, uh, and I use that. Uh, it doesn't always work but lo and behold it seems to be working. I may speed up this other motor just a tad See if I can get it uh, a little bit more demonstrative here. So uh, I was quite fortuitous to get that operating uh, one shot. So sometimes it takes two or three attempts. Now what I can demonstrate here is that um, there's a fair bit of flexibility in the way that these magnets will interact. It's not as precise as I've been led to uh, understand from some of the, uh, the text on the, uh, on the net. What I am doing right now is very slowly moving the freewheel unit relative to the driven wheel to see that it keeps turning. I can change its uh, relative angle of position and uh, it will keep going up to a point at which point it will actually stop. This is more just to demonstrate that in fact the wheels are working against one another and the magnets um, are in opposition to one another but in fact the effect is that the uh, freewheel is driven by the other one in an anti-gearing effect uh, clockwise by the driven and um, in this effect clockwise as well uh, by the freewheel device. Um, that seems to indicate to me that uh, the anti-gearing effect actually does work um, and I have messed around with it um, when the two wheels are working in conjunction with one another in actual fact turning in the same direction and uh, it seems to be uh, not as sensitive to position as I said before but does work the way it does. And once again just two plastic wheels with a couple of magnets uh, attached to them and uh, working as described by the AL and OC uh, attempts.